Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Marmalade Partner Webinar Series. I'm Steph Jorgel, Head of Americas for Marmalade, and I'll be your host for today's webinar. The Marmalade Partner Webinar Series is designed to share thought leadership, trends, and tips around the services and integrations that work with the Marmalade Cross-Platform Game Development, SDK, and features partners, Flurry for Chumo, has offers, PushWish, Payment Wall, GameHouse, and others. We will start off with 45 minutes of presentation, followed by 15 minutes of Q&A. Feel free to post your questions during the presentation in the lower left part of the screen. We will adjust, address your questions just following the presentation. Today's guest speaker is Anastasia Laganova, uh, Head of Customer Support and Evangelism for PushWish. And she's going to explain to you how to leverage cross-platform push notifications in your games and apps and explain a bit more about the PushWish platform and how it integrates with Marmalade. And Anastasia, are you there? Uh, I would like to thanks um, to give my thanks to Marmalade team for inviting us to chat about push notifications. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can hear the confirmation that I'm online. Okay, guys. So, uh, what are we doing here today? Uh, we here at PushWush are really committed to push notifications as the new and upcoming technology that is ruling the mobile world. And we would like to share our overview of the market with you. Uh, we would like to talk about, do you really need them per se? Do you really need that technology today? And what are we doing here actually at the Marmalade Partner Webinar Series? Um, okay, so, um, Let's get started. So your presenter today is actually going to be me. My name is Nastya or Anastasia. Uh, I work as a head of customer relations here at PushWish, and I deal mostly with the people who would like to implement push notifications in their system, who would like to use the most of them in their everyday basis, in their games, in their business apps, in their... Actually, you can... I will tell you later about the... Um, industry and what kind of apps can actually take the most of push notifications. Um, Max Conniff, our managing director, is here with me as well. He is our technical um, guy. He is the great visionary who actually started Push Push a couple of years ago. So um, if you do have deeply technical questions, we will be able to answer all of them because, um, well, here at Push Push, we have a great experience great expertise with the mobile development per se, and with Marmalade as well, believe us. So um, Push Push uh, started, uh, well, as I said, it was a couple of years ago when we decided to uh, provide push notification services for uh, fellow mobile developers after our parent company uh, dealt with mobile development for several years um, by now. Um, we look at the market and we saw that this is a huge opportunity for all of us to implement this technology we decided to, uh, to jump the train and we decided to share it with as many people as possible so far we have sent over 12 billion push notifications as you can see on the screen we just did some simple math there are 7 billion well more than 7 billion people on the planet and basically, we have managed to send each, uh, like all of them, uh, one message per capita, actually more. Uh, can you imagine uh, how, 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 how much data is that? And so if you had an app, let's say you have an app already, like million subscribers or a hundred or a thousand, and you're going to get big you can reach them out with this simple mobile solution that helps you to engage, to retain, and actually communicate with your users. One of our mottos is your app can talk. Uh, so what exactly is happening? So every time when your user uh, install your app, imagine you have a game, um, they are really uh, enthusiastic about that. But, um, as they call it, the apathy comes within 30 days. So um, the users, they fed up with the game, or you just, uh, you didn't get the cycle to reach them all. So they, 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 they participate for some time and they are done, 
or they just do the farm uh, connected game. Uh, but still, uh, they they are quite taken with the daily stuff. So you need to talk to them. You need to uh, remind them about important things that are going in the app, and then you can send messages every time when something big happening like uh there is a game that i'm personally playing uh, they are really good at sending push notifications right in time when i'm actually a little bit tired of it i get the notification that i got my gold discount or that my new monster survived or my new monster is uh, is hatched so i can go and pick them up so uh, overall, in our system, we saw the data that the user retention can get up to eight times every time when you set a detailed push notification with that call for action. Uh, we can, yes, so here we put together some of the reasons that you need to actually use them. So you can convert the dead users into active ones, as I said, those who already uh, fed up with your game. Um, I'm sorry for using the, this word. Okay, they just got bored, but they're gonna be back, believe me, if you do it right. Um, that's what we do in our um, with our service. We actually educate people. When you come to us, we can tell you how to use push notifications at their best, how to uh, actually target them, how you send uh, them messages that actually get to the core of their needs. So for example, you can lure them with the sales and discounts. Uh, this is basically uh, working for most of the apps, not only games, which are very popular with Marmalade, that's why I'm, I'm referring to games that much, but also uh, some of the apps that are dealing with the retail, with the gaming, with basically even the news, believe me, some of our customers, the big news providers, media providers, but still they are using the uh, sales and offerings to uh, to get more attention. We are all uh, urgent for attention sometimes. You can promote with these challenges. Again, this is referring to the game. Uh, let's say um, like there is a new uh, contest which are coming, between, like which is upcoming between the users. So, uh, well, they've been playing with themselves for a long time. Now they need some new challenge and you can pin them and you can call them back. Just um, again, targeting and segments, the, these are the key words. I think you've heard a lot of them recently with the, it's, it's kind of a marketing term, but believe me, push notifications are mostly about marketing nowadays, although not only, and you will see it later. You can scare them with the lots of profits, as they say. Um, well, it's also about the games. I'm not sure if you heard about Clash of Clans. Uh, I think that, uh, Every time that you would get a message, something like your, uh, if you if you log in today, you can get your um, free 1,000 diamonds, or uh, if you log in today, you will be able to build two castles more than usual. You will probably be urged to log in. Uh, well, we all scared about losing something. So if there is an opportunity that you really want to catch, then you will fall for it, believe me. That's why, that's what we call the loss of profits. It's not, it's, it's a good scary thing, not the bad one. So inform them about their turns. Uh, we have plenty of the games that are based on the turn by turn actions. So um, like every time when you do the TikTok thing or the, role-playing games that involve or just the chat. It's just a necessary part. It's what we call the functional push. I will talk about it later as well. But this is the push notifications that are really needed for the game to work. So uh, it's it's already beyond the marketing. So uh, make them talk to each other straight from the app. This is also, it can be useful for the game. It can be a vital part of the application like WhatsApp. As we all know, uh, yes, so you combine the chat, in-game chat with push notifications. And in this case, uh, your users will uh, be able to directly communicate with each other and you don't have anything, you don't have to do anything special for that. So we provide all the tools out of the box 
So all you have to do is just to integrate our push service. And okay, this is the captain obvious. Uh, you just bring your existing traffic to your new game. Let's say you have game already on the market and you alert about the version number two, or just a similar game or just the game that probably published by your partner. But anyway, if I have like if I'm using the cup the rope, I will be a I will be 100% urged to download the new game by the same publisher. You do understand that. Even though the game might be sitting on your app, on your device for ages, uh, this is what the, this is how you use your dead users, as I said, again. So maybe they do not bring your current traffic, but you still convert them for free uh, to your new game. So you don't have to pay anything for that. So this is very good. Okay, so these are the examples, again, so the basics. So this is what we call the marketing push. Uh, yes, we provide the tool that uh, can bring uh, rich HTML content to your, um, yeah, I can see the questions, but I think we will respond to them later. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah, so you can bring the rich HTML content or just text messages or uh, to your app, and this is, uh, very useful for the so-called marketing push when you notify about the offers. Uh, we also have a very good um, feature for that. It's called GeoZones. It's it's a kind of a geolocation service, uh, but it's it's automatic. Like you put a pin on a map, and when somebody passes this your place, your coffee shop, your shop, your uh, cinema theater, or something, they can instantly get the discount right on their device. So uh, you don't you don't have to send out the targeted pushes, uh, but it will be done automatically. So it's your geo sensing. So that's how it's done. Anyway, so like probably it doesn't need any additional explanation, but yeah, so marketing, drive users to your app, drive users to your business. Okay, so informational push. Uh, well, this is mostly about the media providers. Uh, yeah, I have several of them on my device, so I get instantly notified about anything that happens in Israel or in France or, in, well, in some part of the United States. I have to say that it's kind of useful. So uh, you get alerts about anything that you are interested in. So um, you should be probably a little bit more precise with them. So if you do run the application that has something to do with the informational pushes, that's why you use the targeting, um, the segments and the targeting and all the similar features. Because some of the users, they wouldn't be happy to be spent with the use that they are not actually interested in. But if your users are, some of them are really uh, crazy sport fans, they would be happy to get all the instant messages, all the push notifications about something that is happening in the sport world. Uh, for example, well, we all know that this summer there's gonna be the World Championship in soccer. So uh, we foresee a huge, huge increase in the informational push related to this particular sports event. But yes, it's always popular. So retention push. Um, that's what we were actually talking before. Uh, so the retention push, yes, you just bring the users to your app. It, it mostly has to do something with the game, like Splashy Fish, these are one of our users. <laughs> we love them. Yeah, so um, imagine again that you're, uh, you're playing with the game and you just got the new skins. So we have, like our partner company has some new games on the market. And they constantly get in requests about, are you going to release the new skin? Are you going to release the new currency? Are you going to release the new, um, the new abilities? So instead of, uh, making your user wait for them, just, just inform them. So this is going to be good for both of you. So they will be happy. You will get them back to the game and well, it speaks for itself. And this is what we call the power push. It's actually, as I said, this is the case when the push is the vital part of your um, 
of your um, application. For example, we do have the trip case in our portfolio. This is the application by Saber. They inform users about the flights which are being delayed, about the gates which are being changed, and so on and so forth. Can you imagine how important for the user is to get this information? I can assure you, uh, like, in comparison for the retention push for the information, well, for the marketing push, you can see a pretty low open rate. It can be down to 1% sometimes if the push is badly built. But with the power push, when it really brings you information that you need, the open rates can get as high as 80%. This is pretty high open rate, believe me. We've seen, we've seen a lot of them. So yes, yeah, so power push, it depends on what you're gonna do. Uh, so whether this is the turn-by-turn -turn game, whether this is the instant messaging tool, uh, whether this is the traffic alert, uh, weather alert, flight alert, anything, you be sure that you will reach a really good open rate with that. And in this case, you might play a little bit with that. It means that your user base is quite good. They are quite used to getting pushes, uh, relevant pushes. So then you can use some marketing or retention pushes as well, but they have to be tailored. Remember about that. So, um, the good questions. Can I do it myself? We get that a lot. Uh, our services, unlike um, most of our competitors, from the very beginning, it was built on a really deep mutual relationship with developers all over the world. Um, we were really working hard to um, get to the community. So, and when you talk to developers, not to marketing people, you hear a lot of, uh, well, I've seen this plugin, I've seen this. I just I can write the piece of code and I have direct access to the gateway. So why not? Why can I do that myself? Well, uh, the usual response is you do, you can, yes, but uh, you will get the very basic functionality. Let's say in a week, uh, you have to buy your own server. You have to keep it up. You have to maintain it. You have to maintain the code. You, well, and you have to keep all the data, the user base on your servers, well, and so on and so forth. And still you will get very basic functionality, like you will be able to send pushes, just as we call them broadcast pushes. It's like when you have the database of all the users which are subscribed to your application, and then you just cover bomb them with the, with the same message. It's kind of not pretty. So why push push? You get instant access to most of the functionality that you can imagine that you can do with the pushes. Uh, we were the first service that provided the unlimited access to push notifications. Before we came to the market, they, they costed like a lot. So now we can see the improvements in pricing. We can see the competitors that are trying to adjust their uh, pricing scheme. But we are really proud to be the people who changed a little bit the surface in the market. So yes, with Push Push, uh, it's a free, free service with unlimited push notifications. When you register, then you can do whatever that you want. And then we just charge you a little bit for the additional features that I'm going to tell you about it later. So what are the additional features? So first, you get the remote API integration with your server. As soon as you implement it, the service, you can uh, integrate it with your existing database. If you have the game uh, that is being uh, that has a strong backend with the analytics, uh, you know a lot about your users already. We can share this knowledge with each other. You can send pushes straight from your system. And of course, it's not only about the games. If you have the application that works with the well everything that we talked before. So whether it's the alert system, you can alert your users from your user base. Um, you can uh, back up your current in-app chat. You can do anything you want, actually. And we really help you with that. So we can, um, we can tell you how about the best practices that 
can be used in this case. We also provide the high speed of delivery because, well, we do have our own uh, infrastructure. It's like it's a really huge cloud that can process lots of pushes. You can see our online stats on the web page, actually. So we, you can see it's in the real time the device is being subscribed, the push notification is being sent. Uh, also, you get the tool for targeting and segmenting your users, so you can uh, send uh, you can send messages to a single user. You can send messages to groups of users. And what is m probably more interesting for some of the game publishers, and not only, I think we are the only one who do that. Uh, you can also target your users across different applications. So. For example, uh, let's say you have three games and a user has all three games installed on their device already. And these games, well, imagine that you're going to run some marketing campaign telling them about your fourth game. And so what are you going to have in the end? Your user will end up with three similar push notifications on the device. And um, well, they will be spammed. Nobody wants to be spammed. Uh, yeah, you can do some precise targeting by sending these pushes one by one and stuff. We do it out of the box. You just arrange application group. You send one push with one click of a button and we will deliver one push to the user. So they won't be spammed, believe us. We can also uh, target them. Uh, for example, we have this advanced targeting option when you can uh, send push to the user who has the application A and B, but they do not have C. So you can inform them about like, okay, you have already A and B. Would you like to install the C? You should really try it out. Like you like our game, we know that already. So uh, you users will like that, believe me. Well, uh, well, regular stuff like statistics and analytics, we do them. We do have them out of the box. Uh, it also depends on your priorities. So we can uh, customize most of the data that can be picked up from the device uh, upon your request. But it's already kind of expensive out of the box. We also have this nice feature like a multi-language push. Uh, for example, I will, I will show it to you a little bit later if we manage to do some short demo. Um, so imagine that you have uh, subscribers across all the world. So uh, there are English speaking subscribers, Spanish speaking, German speaking, French speaking, so forth. So uh, you go to our control panel, you enter your message in all the language that you would like to be sent out. Like for example, let's say five versions in five different languages and they will be sent with one click to all your subscribers. And since we know the locale of the devices, French speaking will receive the French message, the German speaking will receive the German message, and so on. So it's kind of handy, believe me. Uh, you should try it, you'll like it. Well, scheduled pushes, automated pushes, uh, we all have we also have them all, so you can schedule the pushes in advance. Uh, I think the uh, automated pushes are gonna be released within a couple of weeks. So when you can schedule the pushes like to be repeated automatically on on certain days of the week or in a month or in an hour, it depends on your preferences. We also can send we also send push notifications according to user time zone if you would like to because yes sometimes people don't want to be disturbed during the night and if you're working internationally most probably you will be sending push notifications in the time when somebody is sleeping. So please be sure to check out this option as well. And also geolocation. Yeah. Well, we do have uh, the geo IP targeting. We also have the geo zones. This is a really nice feature that I told you about before. Yes, uh, it's kind of helpful for most of the retail providers that would like to lure their customers into their shops and coffee places. But you can also play some uh, geo games, ge geolocation games. I've seen people who implemented them in their apps. So when the user just passes this geo zone, they will receive a push with 
uh, with some details on the next adventure, stuff like that. It's actually, the possibilities are limitless. You can contact us and we will tell you how it works. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, we also have the multi-engine uh, accounts where, for example, if you have several developers working on different apps under one account, you can do that as well. You can limit their permissions in order to uh, control their access to different apps. Uh, we also do have test devices that will allow you to test. We, we have the preview. I will show it to you later. Uh, where you can just review how your push is going to be uh, displayed on the device screen. But you can also test them in the real device before sending them out to the large group of users. Uh, yeah, we, you can also do the silent pushes. Uh, this is the, actually the new thing. Uh, it was implemented in iOS 7, where you can pass some custom data to the user application when it's running on the background. So actually, you can send the push. You can send some data that you would like to push to your application. And if it's running in the background, it will be all done in the background. The user probably don't have to be disturbed. This is kind of a new thing, but can be really useful in some cases. And actually, custom data is a very important feature. For example, if you're working with the media and you would like to send a push that will open a specific page in your app, you just add a key value pair to in the custom data field of your push notification. And you can open, you can do the deep link in it, they call it now. Yes, yeah, so it's basically, it's a very important thing for some of the application types. Yeah, I almost forgot, we also have the iOS configuration. This is nice uh, because some of the users, they are really not, they're really, they don't, they're not fond of going to a developer Apple portal every time that they need to configure new push certificates. And especially for them, we created the iOS auto configuration when you simply do some simple wizard, you enter your login and the password, then you do, I think it's four or five simple steps where you select the application that you need, the uh, app ID and mobile provision profile, and we will generate all the certificates for you. You don't have to go to the Apple developer portal. You don't have to download them. You don't have to upload them to our system. We will do that for you. So this is neat. Well, I think we do have some more uh, advanced features, but I think we, are, we have to move forward. Yeah. So why we are here, actually, yeah, at some point we decided that we really like Marmalade and we would like to create a special plugin for them. Actually, Push Push has probably the biggest number of supported platforms on the market. You can see them all on our web page. Um, but um, right here, right now, we are talking about Marmalade. Uh, it's kind of easy. So you can see the guide on our website. You can download the plugin from our GitHub, all our plugins are open source. All our SDKs are open source. They can be all found on the GitHub. So later today, tomorrow, you can go to our um, to our GitHub wrapper, download the plugin, just try them out itself. Or you can go to our website and see the guide on how to do that with the proper link. So, and it's kind of easy. Well. I'm not a developer, but I've been told, and I've seen our guide, it's pretty short. Um, be sure to check it out yourself. Be sure to check out our GitHub repository. Yeah, I can see the questions about the platforms available today using Marmalade and Push Push. Uh, iOS and Android are definitely supported. Uh, I have to check out with our developers about the upcoming platforms as well, but the basic coverage was always there, believe me, from the very start. And yes, as soon as you get all the platforms up and running, you can send push notifications to all the platforms at once from our control panel. You can do this via remote API, but some would prefer just to do that online. So yes, you can push with a couple of clicks 
you can use the push notification preset. Uh, it means that once you created a push, you can save it as a preset. And in this case, you don't have to repeat the monotonous actions again and again. Uh, there will be uh, an all-in-one platform. You can see all the reports and stuff. You can uh, arrange your agent role permissions in case you um, have several people working under one account and actually more. That's why, okay, we can probably go to the live demo a little bit later if you still have time. I just wanted to share some of the marmalade, uh, marmalade name. I would say mo most of them are games that uh, have push push integrated in, in their apps. So we're pretty fond of our customers. I think there are more. I just need to check them out. But probably you recognize some of the names on the screen already. So yes, uh, live demo. Uh, I hope it all works out. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of our Okay. Just a second. Okay, I think we're online. So just a small sneak peek of our uh, control panel. So yes, uh, the account that you hopefully see on the screen uh, is a demo account. Anybody could access the demo account at any time. In order to test it with the live applications, you can go, you can check out uh, the Google Play Store and Windows Store with the keyword push push. I think our app is currently not online in the App Store, but it will be online pretty soon. So, um, yeah, as you can see, uh, you have all applications in one. There's actually only one application, but there can be lots of them, believe me. And as soon as you create the application in your account, oh, sorry. Yeah. So as soon as you create a new application, you can configure it here. So you have all the platforms at hand on the one page. Here you can see how it will be how it will look like as soon as you're done with the auto configuration you just entered all the necessary um, parameters and we have downloaded all the files for you so it's pretty simple you just contact us and ask for the trial of the premium features so you can try it out yourself well i think the configuration for other platforms is even easier so yes, as soon as you're done with the configuring your basic platform and your devices, supposedly they already have the Marmalade plugin installed so they can start subscribing to your application. Check out the guide, it's pretty simple. Uh, after that, you will be able to send push notifications to all of your subscribers with probably just one click. Yeah, for example, um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can enter the message in English, then you can switch to uh, Spanish and enter Hola Marmalade. Oh, I don't have a Spanish keyboard, so I think there's going to be another set in the beginning, but okay. Uh, we do have the Russians here, so it will be Yeah, and as you can see, you have all those messages here in one push. You can preview them here. So for example, you can see all the screens for iOS available. So it's gonna be like iOS 6, we still have them. Then it's gonna be iOS 7, as we have it and love it right now. You see the Android in all possible versions. So you do know that uh, it can be either also with the small code or with the, in the notification center, you will be able to attach uh, 
images and stuff, but most of most of it can be done only via remote API request. You can also schedule this push, send now or send later, send according to user time zone or without the option. You can also add additional data such as URL, uh, the remote HTML page. You can create it in advance with our remote HTML page templates, or you can um, provide your custom HTML page in your remote API request. You can also include custom data, which can be in any format. Just be sure to enter the key and value pair. Um, then you can do the filters, uh, which it's a little, it, it seems, seems a little bit restrictive via the control panel, but still we have all the tags here, such as I can demonstrate it to you. For example, you can check out the languages that are subscribed to our demo application. You can see them in the pie chart, bar chart, or temp table views. So you can see all the languages that are used in the demo application right now. Yeah, so going back to our push. Oh, I'm sorry, my cache has been cleaned. Well, usually it never happens, but still. So it's gonna be high marmalade. And when you enter all the necessary information that you need it, it can be pretty simple or you can spend some time by adding additional data by scheduling the push set. That's why you need the preset. Uh, and then you just click push and it will be delivered. Unfortunately, you cannot see it right now, but my device just got the push saying hi marmalade. But you can play with this account anytime, just be sure to download our demo application from Google Play Store or Windows Store and or contact us so that we would send you direct link to the iOS uh, demo app. Or you can just register the account and start your own push notification. So I think we are running out of time. So I wanted to, okay. the most important slide of the presentation. Right now we created our special promo for this very webinar. Uh, you can use the coupon that you see on the screen, just the marmalade, while you're upgrading your future, hopefully push push account, and you will get the 10% discount for your monthly payments. It's applicable for all accounts. Anyone who is, would like to take part in this promo, this is on the screen now, and then we will also circulate these slides following uh, the webinar so that you can have then this as well in your slides that you're seeing. Um, let's see, the first question. All right, so how do you compare yourself with competition like Parser Urban Airship? Okay, I can see the question on my screen. How do you compare yourself with the competition like parse or urban ship? Okay, so when we actually um, by the traffic data, of course, nobody will tell you the, the full data, but by the traffic data, we are probably the third one right after parse and urban airship. Uh, we are the youngest. We have the history of spending most of our time communicating with the developers. So I think that we have, as I said already, we have the biggest number of the platforms that we support. Uh, we are very responsive to uh, customers' requests. So uh, I can tell you the story that when Google switched to GCM from C2DM, it happened, I think, in 2012. We were the first system that switch to the new uh, the new service while uh, for urban airship I think it took like half a year don't tell them that I told you so they are pretty small uh, yes we also have some of our uh, some of our features that we are proud of as I said for example we came up with the application group that uh, allows us to cross target uh, users across different uh, applications. And well, people love us. So uh, in, if you would like to see our 
full list of the features and compare them themselves, just come to us. We provide the free trial for all the features that we have. Uh, and I think that we are really, they were the first that provided the best pricing on the market as well. As I said, for 1 million devices, uh, you can send unlimited pushes for free. So that's, I think that's cool. Great. My yeah. send notification to a single user, again, Mr. Smith, to log and pick up a special bonus just for him. Yes, absolutely. That's what we said uh, from the beginning. So yes, you can target group of user or single user with push push. Uh, you can do it in various ways. So like uh, you can do the uh, targeting by the device ID, like the push token or hardware ID that we have, or as we prefer it, you can create a tag and implement it in your application. It will be called like a username or alias, whatever you prefer. And yes, you can target single user using this tag. Uh, if you have any questions regarding how to do that, just feel free to check our, our sample app. They are also on the GitHub, they are all open source. Or just come to us directly and we will be help. We will be happy to help. Great. Yeah, guys, I can hear you, but I can read the question. Which are the platforms available today using Marmalade and Pushwush? I think I already answered to this one, but in any case, uh, we support the basic ones, the iOS and Android. I'm not sure about the uh, Amazon and Windows Phone. I think they are they are in the better stage right now. So, are there any questions, guys? If anyone has any questions. And please be sure that we are quite welcoming. So we really like to talk to developers. So if you want to contact us later, be sure to do that. So you can you can find my contact details. I'm developing an app for a different restaurant on the country. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the geozone. So as I said, we have uh, several options for the geolocation services. So uh, we can target users either via their geo IP. This works out of the box uh, without any implementation, like we can target people uh, in the specific country or in the specific city. Or you can do the geo zone, yes. In this case, you can simply uh, put a pin on the map with the ra uh, radius, like 1,000 meters or so. And you can set the geozones to be working every time the user of the app passes nearby your restaurant. So it works something like that. But if you need some more information, just please be sure to contact us. Uh, about the promo, I think it's it's valid for the next month, so you can use it up to uh, 9th of May, 2014. Great. Um, so, uh, yes, about the WordPress, uh, yes, we do have the plugin for WordPress. I'm not sure about the uh, our Windows Phone. What do you mean? Uh, I, I will use the push push with app pressure and Windows Phone. Uh, could you please elaborate about the WP or is it WordPress or the uh, Windows Phone? Well, we, we do support both. So, the WordPress. Yeah, yeah. we do have a plugin for WordPress as well find it in the WordPress store. And about the promo, yes, so I think it's valid till then 9th of May. Great. Okay, guys, so it was really nice uh, talking to you, even though maybe the uh, it was mostly me who was talking. So please uh, be sure to check out our website come to us, talk to us, and we'll be happy to help if you have any questions on push notifications. Great, thank you, um, Anastasia, for joining us. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll talk soon.